2022, Sunbury and Cobor Community Health received 18 months of Vic Health Big Connect funding to extend their way out work into Sunbury. Here are some reflections from young people and supportive adults involved with these programs. Way out! The importance of having social support spaces for queer young people is allowing them to meet other students who may be experiencing similar difficulties or experiencing similar things in their lives um, and may not know anyone else who is in that queer space. I think the importance of social spaces for young people is just to give them a chance to be themselves. Not so much about what the activities that we run, but more so about how we foster the connection and how well they support each other. For our queer young person, having a safe space socially that they can go to has been a time, you know, once a fortnight, once a week, where they can just truly be their authentic self. And, you know, there's no fear of judgment. For their mental well-being, it is priceless. Yeah, so some of the challenges through creating a safe space for queer young people in a school um, is really finding the balance of it being accessible and open to anyone, but also feeling quite safe. So not all of these young people have a support structure outside of this group, but it's nice that they do have at least one place where they can come and, and just feel welcome. I'm sure there are some kids and there have been times for my young person where I think if they didn't have that space to go to, they might not actually still be here. Like it's so important and so valued. It's literally life-saving. They may go to therapy, art therapy, equine therapy, whatever therapy. They might have a trusted adult in their life. All those good things, but unless they have like a safe place where they feel belonging, none of that really comes close. The role adults have in supporting and affirming young people's identities is really validating them. So when they're coming to talk to you and saying, I'm feeling this way and I'm identifying this way, for us to allow them to talk about it, to not feel judged and to feel like we're safe people that they can come to, to discuss what's going on for them. Always have an open mind and as long as you can support that young person in the moment to be who, who they want to be, that's just so important. The main job that we've got as parents is just making sure that our kids feel safe with us. And even if you don't have a queer young person in your life, raising up and speaking positively about other queer people in the community, I think is the responsibility of every adult. It's just so important that we have a really positive, supportive role to helping young people find their identities in every sense.